have a, a long-standing patient of mine who is a very anxious individual with a metastatic melanoma who is very difficult for me to manage because in addition to managing his disease, I'm always very careful as to how much I can disclose about what his disease is doing because he becomes so dependent on me finding something positive and I don't want to lie to him, you know, so it's always this little bit of a balance and so he he's he's difficult on so many levels but also he was not my first candidate that I thought would be a good candidate for me to have this three minute mental makeover and he I didn't think would be receptive to that I think he would feel that I am trying to pull something on him you know what I mean like trying to be his psychiatrist in addition to his oncologist and he he's very smart you know and so he would feel like I'm trying to manipulate him and very much to my surprise he was extremely receptive and so we did just this exercise yesterday you know and he threw me a little bit of a curveball by saying well before you ask me to do that I want to hear your six words so I'm prepared for that. I've done that now a number of times, you know, and so I, I was able to tell him what that was for that particular day. And interestingly, my own six words change all the time as well, which is pretty cool. I didn't think it would, you know, I thought I got my six words down and I know what to do, <laughs> right? And I, it's not like that. It's, it's really, you, you have a different approach to your life in a different situation. And sometimes it's different things that I want to share with my patients, really ultimately to get different things from them, you know, and so with him, he's, he's a very big history buff so the idea that I'm from East Germany you know and that I am also big into history and all that was a bigger part of that that opening up to him you know and so for him then he also ended initially with death you know that that would be the final word in his sentence and I'm like well isn't that true that that's kind of the final word for all of our six words right but that's not what we should concentrate on because I wanted you to put a frame around six words that frame your life not to end your life you know and so he was able to also put a very positive spin on it and I became part of his life story which was really very cool you know so and what was even better about that yesterday is that I actually had the benefit of having a medical student with me and so that was really cool and led to probably a good hour of conversation after my clinic was done with that medical student about mental health about connection between physician and patient and how there's perceived barriers and how those barriers can be managed you know very effectively in order to meet the treatment more effective